here is a little detail what I'm going to show you on this uh, gasket. Uh, here you can see this part from where the gas is coming and here is this uh, plastic piece you can see this is broken uh, from this one from here it had been broken and this should be like this it should be like this uh, so what happened was it had been broken uh, while I was fixing it and uh, this is actually the gauge unit what I'm going to show you is the detail for this one uh, this is the important thing which I'm going to show you if the wiring is bad for your car or something happened sometimes you will be able to make it repair I'm also going to make a repair on this one but a uh, demonstration is required to understand this thing so here is what is this potentiometer which, which is important to understand and uh, this potentiometer has three terminals you can see these are the two wires uh, here is another third wire which is going to positive and uh, this one wire which is this clip this is going to gauge unit and this other wire which is here this is going to ground I'm going to show you a little diagram for you so that you will understand it well so the diagram will be some way like this. this is a potentiometer actually uh, voltage divider circuit actually so voltage divider is some way like this this is a long potentiometer I'm going to draw and here is the ground here is the wiper this one this one is going to um, gauge to the gauge uh, for the lighting system and for the gauge in the gauge there is a controller and there are a few LEDs uh, four LEDs actually they are glowing through controller so this is and what this is doing is here is the positive 12 volt from the switch is coming and here is the ground so while uh, this wiper is on this resistance it is moving it is actually uh, taking the position uh, it is taking the position the voltage is varying on this wiper part varying voltage from 0 to uh, 12 volt while it is the wiper is here it will produce a 0 volt on it and while wiper will be there it will produce the maximum 12 volt so 0 to 12 volt it is varying and this 0 to 12 volt is going to the control unit and control unit is actually glowing the LED corresponding to the voltage so how the voltage will be the LED uh, glow you will see I mean if 12 volt is coming for the all the four LED you will see glowing and if uh, little voltage will be there you will see little LEDs say the LEDs will be reduced 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 and at zero volt you will not see any LED glowing uh, so this is what the gauge unit is working here you can see the drop of my I'm sweating actually it's hot so that's why the drop is okay and so this one was and now how I'm repairing is I'm going to show you uh, this wiring detail was important uh, because if uh, this is going bad or the wiring diag wiring is going bad you will be able to make it working again so here I am going to remove this plastic piece so using a small screwdriver I can open these two screws which are located uh, one is in an odd location uh, anyhow I will use this epoxy to uh, to make this thing repair once again and I will bring this thing back to life I'm not going to re replace it because the replacement is way way difficult some parts are not available in the market and some are available they are expensive but we can repair it anyhow and this wiper of course here this is the wiper the wiper part and that will be we, we will insert it over here here in this brass part there is one uh, small uh, other brass part which is moving uh, corresponding to the gas pressure so that gas, gas pressure is actually over here on this meter also this dial uh, it is showing as well as over here it is moving this part inside which is further moving this wiper part and that is giving the voltage the variable voltage on this line which is going to the controller and controller is showing the position how much the gas tank is uh, so this was a little demonstration which I made and hope you people will understand this well and you people will be able to repair your, your unit and you people will be able to diagnose your unit as well. As you can see I just repaired this thing. 
this gauge unit I repaired and I connected everything uh, all wires I connected now just I'm going to give you a little demonstration a live demonstration on uh, meter uh, what is happening and how it is behaving as I just give you some demonstration on paper uh, which hope uh, you people have been under understood um, now is the time to give you some more understanding live understanding on the meter also so that you will get more knowledge uh, from this testing so what I said I have been said that uh, you know uh, this wire which is the blue wire this one this one is from the positive battery while the kit is live here the positive is coming here the positive is coming and this wire is of course parallel to that one to this blue and it is coming from here and this is live I mean to say the on the battery 12 volt potential uh, when the car is started and when it is running the kit is live that time this wire is also live on the 12 volt uh, battery potential this is switched 12 volt is coming over here actually from the kit from the control unit that's okay and uh, then this wire you can see this is of course grounded over here on the kit and this is one of the wire which is coming from this potentiometer potentiometer one wire when one side is 12 volt the other side is grounded and the center one which is over here this uh, connector you can see this is the center one so here we will get some variable voltage which uh, will be from 0 to 12 volt depends upon the gas quantity in the tank and uh, that is proportional to the gas uh, quantity because that is uh, the pressure is actually the proportional to the gas quantity so the pressure is over here the coming over here from this line from the tank the pressure is coming and here is a big spring a very uh, tight and um, very uh, stiff spring over here and then the pressure is giving uh, there is a small piston actually in the cylinder and that is giving force to that spring and uh, to that uh, um, uh, piston uh, the mechanism of the whatever this uh, potentiometer is connected uh, so how much is the pressure the potentiometer will come accordingly inside some way like this it will compress the spring inside uh, so this is the way uh, how it is working so we will get a variable potential over here a variable voltage a potential difference we will get over here which is going to the control unit of the uh, whatever this kit control the small computer and that is showing the gauge unit over there uh, through four LEDs and we will check this thing uh, through our meter I am going to connect our, my meter uh, this, this is of course you can see on the voltage range DC voltage and now is zero and uh, one black probe I will connect to the battery negative and the red probe I will connect to this uh, line which is uh, the variable voltage to the control unit which is showing the gauge I mean to say the LEDs uh, it is showing so we will get here some pressure which will be proportional I mean the voltage which will be proportional to the um, quantity of the gas in the tank and now we will simulate also how we are simulating I am just going to show you first I will start the car and then I will start simulating that also I will show you now I am going to start this car so here I am starting just see this uh, kit here the red line is coming so the other LEDs will also come so while it is started you can see these LEDs are coming these LEDs the two or three LED you can see the fourth one is not coming which is corresponding the gas quantity in the tank so two or three is coming at the moment uh, so we will simulate this thing and now we will see to the meter On the meter you can see some pressure uh, some uh, potential difference 3.6 3.7 volt you can see over here now what I will do is I will stop the gas from the uh, gas uh, tank just here I'm stopping this gas so I stopped it now the car is still start because the line has gas and you can see it is going low and low you can see and eventually the car will die so the car had been died you can see and same will be the situation on the kit 